Hey there again, folks. Welcome back to Deponia, the complete journey. Last time we uh, met the guy in the pharmacy and the pharmacist uh, in the like uh, market area, and then uh, for that we uh, talked to Bozo about temperamental women, and then we got to uh, the fancy place. I think it's called Bellevue. Is that what it's called? Upper District, something like that. So we're gonna have to get past this nose before we're able to do anything. <laughs> Apparently, he does not like the way that Rufus smells. Empty, empty, except for the bird droppings. Go, go, Rufus, rubber arm! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, that always worked before. <laughs> always interesting. He says it's worked before. Kind of scary. What an ugly. It must belong to an extremely ugly bird. Terrific. Even more filth. A rake! That could be useful. Sure, it could be. Go, go, Rufus! Uh, <laughs> Just wondering what would happen. My botanical expertise tells me that this here is a... a... a plant. <laughs> Who uses a spade to rake? Oh, look, children! It's Hoedown the Garden Gnome! Hoedown, Hoedown, ugly I can be! Well? Who uses a spade? Oh, look, it's Hoedown! Okay, I guess that's uh, all the song. I felt like there was more, more to that song than what there was. Okay, so... Gulliver's peanuts are much more germy than Lonzo's. Some bacteria even come in colors I've never seen before. It looks like I've finally reached civilization. Okay, well, I think this is what we need to give the nose. <laughs> okay, I remembered that right. I thought I did. Oh, we can go back here. That's right. I forgot about that. There's nothing here but bird droppings. And there's enough of those on Bozo's deck. I didn't have to come here for them. Hmm. Hey, let's get the rake. <laughs> maybe the second time will work. Wait. Ow! Nope, okay. Well, maybe a third. Maybe a third time will work. Ow! Well, maybe if I just go directly for the tub of dirt. Ow! Hmm. I guess we can't get anything up here. Can I make use of any of this stuff? Hmm. <laughs> okay, apparently using a swordfish on a rake will make you still uh, hit yourself in the nose with it. Good to know. It's information you don't really learn uh, very often, so I'm glad I was able to educate you guys on on uh, what on uh, being hit by a rake in the face. We talked the hoe down. Don't bother me. It's almost quitting time. Don't bother. Almost. Okay. Hey, hands off the tree. Okay. What? That wasn't my hands. Wow. Because, because I did it with my feet. You see? Here. Feet. Boob. <laughs> oh, come on. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ouch. <laughs> And why does my back suddenly feel like somebody scratched the word revenge into it with a rusty rake? Ugh, must be the stress. <laughs> he got kicked out pretty literally. Okay, so that's what we needed to do to get the rake out of the way. Totally not convoluted. <laughs> this spade knows how to behave better than that darn rake. Can we dig some dirt I've with it? I've got enough loose dirt in my coat. If I need more soil, I should look for an appropriate container. Hmm. Well, you know, we have this bucket. Can that I do that? That may be just dirt, but it's no worse than the rest of the stuff I carry around. Hmm. 
I've got enough if I need more. Hmm. Okay, I think I know what I need to do with that. I uh, never touch stuff that's upstream. <laughs> Can't make use of it yet, though. What's up, Poe down the garter? <laughs> Friends? Oh! I guess not. Uh, rats. I just passed out again. I didn't even get his answer. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we didn't get an answer. Yeah, that's... That's right, Rufus. No, no, no answer was given. You're, you're right. Hey, hands off the... Oh, hmm. Okay, well... Apparently I need to leave Ho down alone. I wonder why I went... I don't know if that showed up in the video, but down here went black when, uh... When it happened, that was weird. Check it out up here first. Whoa, impressive digs. Ahem, have you ever heard of knocking? Of course, but I find their new album too commercial. <laughs> what are you doing here? Don't you at least wipe your feet? Not since my eighth birthday. Back then, my... My dad? Rufus? Dad! You're Captain Seagull? I... Ahem, your shoes, Rufus. Oh, uh, oh, uh, excuse me, sir. Wow, this is a twist. <laughs> wow, Dad, this is really a totally radical kick ass location and a doormat made of real wombat. Respect. Doormat? Yeah, it's, it's hanging right next to the door. That's my Sunday coat. <laughs> oh, listen, Rufus, I'm a busy man. Just tell me what brought you here, and then run along and play again, okay? Hmm. Aren't you at all glad to see me? Yes, of course I'm glad. I'm just very busy right now. If you're a good boy, and let your old man finish his work, then maybe later we can go feed the seagulls. Feed the seagulls? Are you kidding? I have important things to do. Then it won't matter if I haven't got time for you until later, right? Later. Later. You always say that. Hmm. I thought you went to Elysium. <laughs> Elysium? Yes. Elysium, you know. You left me to move to Elysium. You can't tell me you don't remember that. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, I remember. And how. Just what was I thinking? After all, everybody knows that it's impossible to escape Deponia. What a wild and crazy guy I was back then. Always reaching for the stars. Today, I know it's not worth the effort to pursue such crazy ideas. Once you're as old as your dad, I'm sure you'll understand. You can so totally forget that. I'll never be that old, loser. <laughs> well, if he keeps doing things as he's doing, uh, he probably won't live that long. You changed your name? Nothing to do with you, honestly. But still, please don't go around telling everybody you're my son, all right? Dad, how come you're talking to me like that? You may not have noticed, but I am no longer a child. Ah, you're all grown up now. Yeah, ha 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 Like with a house of your own and a steady income. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, um... I'll take that for a no. I'm... A tinkerer. I even had a real workshop in Kuvak. <laughs> You're not talking about that toy workbench I once gave you when you were little. Well, I'm, st I'm still way more grown up than you are. So there. Yeah, point proven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you even want to know what I've been up to all this time? Oh, please don't tell me you wreak some sort of havoc again. What was it this time? Did you set something on fire? Did you steal anything? Destroy someone else's property? Well, I mean, you, you've got to see that in context. <laughs> I have to stop the Organon from blowing up Deponia. Then what are you doing here in the floating black market? The Organon are far away. And if anything should explode here, it'll probably be your fault. Yeah, you just don't understand. I don't? So when has the Organon ever blown up anything? Maybe not so far, but, but, but... And how many detonations have you caused this month? Well, I, 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 I... 
That shut you up, huh? I'm, I'm still counting. <laughs> I need to go look after my Elysian girlfriend. Yes, of course. What was her name again? Babsy Boo? No, not Babsy Boo. She's a true Elysian. Her name is Goal. Wait a minute. Are you serious? Now you're impressed, huh? You meet an Elysian and then bring her here? Didn't I teach you anything? No. You were a great parent. You didn't leave her alone, did you? Don't worry. She's in a safe place, down in Gulliver's Tavern <laughs> at the harbor. Okay. Looks like I failed to teach you a few essential facts of life. Really, Dad, let's not go there. I know all about the bees and the flowers, although I may be a little unclear about the concept of pollination. But mm -hmm. I'm a real pro when it comes to building hives. If, if, if you know what I mean. You're giving me no hives, clue, idea. Right. I have no clue. But let's get back on topic. What I was trying to say is that obviously you never learned how to treat a lady. Have you at least invited her to dinner? Well, there was this bowl of peanuts. I'm talking mm -hmm. about a date, Rufus. A romantic date. Hmm. The only restaurant that might be suitable is Shea Schlumpy. At least they offer an exclusive view. But alas, all they have on their menu is platypus. What's wrong with platypus? It's so vulgar. It lives among the flotsam and feeds on table scraps. It could even be the heraldic beast of Deponia. No, platypus dishes would only remind her that she is stranded in the boondocks. You must see to it that platypus completely disappears from the menu at Schlumpy's. Can you do that? Ah, piece of cake for a romantic like me. Once you've done that, you may reserve a table in my name. But not before then. Understand? Hmm. Okay, so we're going to have to get a date with Go, but we're going to have to get platypus off the menu at this restaurant. Hmm. I haven't told you the half of it. Oh my, Rufus. What else have you gotten yourself into? I'm actually about to go to Elysium. <laughs> Good luck. I'm serious. I'm going to Elysium. Yeah, right. Come on, Rufus. I am truly flattered that you want to follow in my footsteps. But do you really have to step into every single pile of poop on the way? Not everyone. For one thing, mm -hmm. I would never leave my eight-year-old son behind. Really? So you would take him along? Yes, I would. Well, if he takes after you, I hope you'll remember to bring a little shovel and a plastic bag. Wow. I'll tell you some other time. Sounds good to me. In the meantime, I'll consult my legal advisor. Hmm. I'm, I'm definitely seeing how Rufus has some issues <laughs> because of his dad. What exactly are you working on? I need to write instructions for my staff. And you consider that more important than talking to your son? We haven't seen each other in years. So why would every second suddenly count now? I am responsible for this house and its personnel. I am also responsible for doing important things, like saving the world. Then why are you still hanging around here? Do I still have to hover over you to make sure you're completing your chores? Um, about the date. Stop hemming and hawing and stand up straight, boy. What do you want to know? What was it again that I need to do so you'll let me reserve a table? The platypus dishes must be taken off the menu. I don't care how you do it. Deal. Just promise me <laughs> that nobody will be injured in the process. Too late. I already said deal. <laughs> don't go away. I'll be back soon. Forget that line. Not even an eight-year-old would buy it. Um, sounds like an eight-year-old bought it. Secret Doors in Bookshelves, Volume 1. Secret Doors in Bookshelves, Volume 2. Gah, this library is a total waste of space. As a real gentleman, I read a lot. As a real blah, 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 that doesn't change the fact that the shelf is big and ugly. Besides, it's too dark in here to read. Ah. That's true. I should buy a new crystal chandelier when I have the chance. But for now, a few candles will suffice. I need candles. Okay, so this is how you get the this stuff. Here, Rufus. Be so good and take this memo to the servant's mailbox. Yeah, who does he think he is? Well, he is my... Oh, whatever. Anyway, I'm not his errand boy. 
Okay, so that's... Yeah, this stuff we're gonna need. Huh. This one catches the eye. Yeah. Secret doors in bookshelves for dummies. Pull on the book titled, Pull Here for Secret Door. Wow! Who would have thought? <laughs> Pull on the... Wow! <laughs> okay, there's a vacuum cleaner. I don't usually cleaner. associate with cleaning implements. On the other hand, I like little technical gadgets that make more noise than necessary. Hmm. What's in here? There's a lint trap. What's that? Is that a lint trap? Apparently so. Mm, can we vacuum it up? Hey, just for the record, I'm not doing this to clean up here. I'm doing this to test the suction power of the <laughs> handheld vacuum. We believe you, Rufus. We know you're not... I have enough lint like this on my coat. We know that you're not one for... Uh, for cleaning. This is no luxury villa. This place is overrun with weeds. Those are flowers, Rufus. I have them brought from the garden as decoration. What? These hideous vegetables? Uh, they could actually use a bit more water. I need water for the flowers. There. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, a goldfish bowl. This is no luxury villa. There's even parasites nesting here. That is my aquarium. I collect rare ornamental fish. Rarely significant, maybe. And they're tiny, too. Hmm. I should actually feed them again. I need breadcrumbs. There. Okay, so we've got those. Let's let's see what's in the window. Or about the window. This is no luxury villa. The whole wall is open here. That's called a picture window, Rufus. This way I always have an eye on the entire black market. But there's a terrible draft. Ah, the floor heating is actually supposed to compensate for that. I need... Coal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like, uh, it's pretty mean, but I like the, uh... Can't you do anything on your own? The that kind of puzzle why I involved have here. Servants. Oh, yeah. Do they wipe your butt, too? Oh, that reminds me. I Stop need scribbling. Toilet Haven't you noticed that this doesn't save you any time? <laughs> on the contrary, you spend all your time writing notes. Mind your tone, young man. Pardon me, sir. Oh, wonderful. Now I've lost my thread of thought. What was I going to write down? Ah, that was it. I need thread. Okay, so we got... Cool, we got five of them. I think that's how many I need. Let, let's check upstairs. Ooh, his pants. This is the highest point on the island. I wonder what they do with it. Show off their poor sense of fashion. <laughs> I could reach it easily, but as long as it meets me halfway, I don't want to. Hmm. Welcome to the flag -o mat For half-mast, insert human ashes here. <laughs> Handy. Wait, what? Why human ashes? Gromit. <laughs> what a silly word. Gromit, gromit, gromit. <laughs> okay, not really anything I can do here. Can I... See, like I'm supposed to use the antenna here? I could reach it, but... It's... Maybe not. Okay. Hmm. You know, I don't think I have everything I need to, so let's let's not worry about that for now. We will have everything we need. 
Yeah, let's go on down here. But we're going to check out uh, downstairs in the next episode. So I do sincerely hope you guys all enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.